Hi friends, long time no see. I feel like it's been the longest time since we've caught up. It really hasn't, but it just feels like it has. So it's nice and early. I've just dropped the kiddos off at school and I figured we should take a little trip down to Kmart and see what's new in store. They're starting to get their winter clothing in as well. So now is a great time to go and check them out. I have a checklist of a couple of things that I wanna grab and the kids also. Indies after this viral headband, it's that bobbly one. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Plus, have you seen the new Kmart trench? It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really hoping that it's in store. It comes in black and tan. I'd be happy with either color. It just looks like a really great quality trench. Plus, I think it would be just a staple for the upcoming winter months. So I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me today. Grab your snacks, get comfy, and let's go shopping. Oh my gosh, you guys, the car park is packed already. Looks like everyone's here. Okay, let's do this. After being sold out for what felt like the longest time, my Kmart finally restocked the viral sold Asian Aero dupes. So of course, I grabbed some to pick up and try out with you guys. And they actually have a lot of cute looking skincare and body lotions and things in store at the moment. Plus, I didn't realize that they stock niacinamide and hyaluronic acids as well. So if you've tried these out, please let me know how they perform as they're really affordable. This is the headband I was telling you about earlier that I needed to grab for Indy. She wanted the black one, but it also comes in a really pretty purple shade as well. I love this bag and I'm kind of regretting not grabbing it now. It's just a really good medium sized bag. It has great functionality. It has the three compartments. The two outer sides have press closures and the center has the zip. It's just a perfect everyday kind of bag that can hold a lot. How gorgeous is this long line puffer jacket? The olive green shade is so pretty and I love all the zipper detailing it has to it. We're really starting to see a lot of autumn and winter wear in store right now and I'm loving all the outerwear options. All right, here's the trench. So it comes in both tan and black. Unfortunately, they didn't have the black in my size, otherwise I probably would have grabbed it also. But this is a really great jacket. It's well made, comfortable, and a staple for the upcoming autumn and winter months. I love all the cuff detailing it has to it as well. It definitely just elevates the jacket just that little bit more. And moving on into some basics, these crew neck sweatshirts are a cute piece to team with some jeans, leggings, or even sweatpants. I like that they're a washed material and they're a drop shoulder design as well. They're just nice and comfy and only $20 a piece. Denim maxi skirts have been really popular over the summer and I feel like you can still carry them through into winter by teaming them up with boots, especially your darker denim. I really loved all the maxi dress options over the summer, lots of skins dupes and I have the brown one on the right but you better get in quick if you want any as I don't think they'll be available for too much longer. And moving on into the lingerie section, I stumbled across these smoothing bodysuits. They give light support, but the material of them felt beautiful and they'd look great teamed up with jeans, tracksuit pants, or even a pencil skirt or tailored pants for a more formal look. I also spied some short and mid thigh shapewear bodysuits that say they're seam free and provide firm support for only $17. I've not tried them out before, but if you have, please leave a comment and let us know how you rate them. If they do all that for $17, then I think that's pretty great value. A lot of the summer footwear is now discounted and on its way out and winter boots are in. 
how cute are these little rain boots? I'm obsessed. I think I need to go back and get these as well. The homewares aisles will forever be one of my favourite areas in Kmart and I'm literally in love with everything they currently have in stock at the moment. I'll take one of everything, thanks. <laughs> There's so many cute decorative pieces and I just love all the soft, earthy tones. These wicker trays can serve many purposes. You can literally use them anywhere in your home and they're also great for laundry and pantry organization solutions as well. There's so many gorgeous throw pillows available in lots of different sizes too. I'm loving all the different fabric options and look how big this pillow is. I just had to pull it out to show you guys. I love beaded pendant lights. I think they're such a nice feature for your home and this one is currently on clearance for $40. And I also found this really cool lamp which would look so pretty in a kid's room. I know my daughters would love this lamp in their bedrooms. Plus I also found this faux fur rug which is a great size and it's only $22. It would look so cute in a nursery or again in a kid's bedroom. There's a huge selection of candles and melts available and these are always great gift ideas. My favourite is the Ocean Cove Ginger and Coconut scent. It has a really fresh summer beachy kind of smell. It literally makes me want to book a tropical island holiday. It's so good. There's tons of storage solution options in all shapes and sizes. These knitted baskets are really nice and can hold a lot too. But if that's not the style you're going for, they also have felt, paper rope, linen, rattan and boucle basket options available and they're all really well priced too. I love that Kmart has a dupe for the wave mirror but in like a miniature version and it's LED also which is really great. Fingers crossed they bring out a full length version. Oh and you guys know I love me a diffuser. I have one of the Kmart wood look aroma diffusers and I've had it for years and it's still going strong but I wouldn't mind grabbing the botanical diffuser. I really like the pattern on it and it just looks really chic. Plus you can go ahead and change up the colours if you want to which is a pretty cool function. When I initially picked up the Fire Aroma Diffuser, I thought it was a mini toaster. Do you guys see it as well? Oh, and I wanted to show you this trolley. It makes trips to the beach so much easier, especially if you have kids. It's totally worth the money. I haven't purchased a new coffee machine in a little while, but Kmart has some pretty fancy schmancy looking ones in store right now, and they're all fairly reasonably priced as well. And now moving up a couple of aisles, I love all the pantry organization solutions. Oh, it's just like heaven for me. I was in need of a new Lazy Susan, so I grabbed one of these, or turntable should I say. Why do they even call them Lazy Susans? What's behind that name? Let me know if you know. I had to include all these little mini makers as I just thought they were the cutest. There are so many different options available and they'd make great gift ideas as well. I mean the mini heart waffle maker, how cute would that be for like Valentine's Day? 
And then I can't recommend these tumblers highly enough. I have the pink one and they're a great dupe for the Stanley. They hold a little over a liter of water and they fit perfectly into your car cup holders, which is amazing. There's some great color options and they're only $15 each. And I also stumbled across these adorable glass bottles. They totally remind me of like the old school milk bottles from the 1940s or 50s. They're definitely handy to have in your home for when you have dinner parties and things and you need water on the table. Okay guys, we are back and that was a great success. I'm so excited to show you what I picked up, starting with, da 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 da, I got the trench, whoop, whoop. So this one is called the Lightweight Trench in Sandstone. I grabbed it in size six and it was $45. I will say that it does run quite large. I grabbed a 10, an eight and a six and the six is still quite big on me. So I would have sized down if there had been a smaller size, but I think the six will be fine. I really love all the cuff detailing that it has on it, like to the shoulders here and then on the sleeves as well. It just makes it look really like luxurious and expensive. And it is quite a weighty trench as well. I know it says lightweight, but it feels like it's like really good quality and it's going to keep you warm as well. It has these really nice tortoise shell buttons on it to the front to do up and then it has the belt to cinch it in as well. I was a little worried that this color wouldn't suit me like it was just a bit too close to my natural coloring but I went to mum and dad's after Kmart and had a coffee with them and I showed them and they loved the coat. Mum said it was such a beautiful color and it looked fine on. How cute is this little headband they're really popular right now they've been all over like tiktok and youtube shorts and indy really wanted one it's the oxx body care beauty headband scalloped shaped beauty headband <laughs> and it's just like a kind of a terry toweling fabric so that's a better look at the fabric up close it's just like a nice soft kind of padded material this one was only six dollars and you can wear it out and about but it'd also be a good little headband to wear when you're getting ready in the morning just to keep your hair back I picked up this really gorgeous crossover top this looks expensive like it looks like a cashmere blend kind of a top it is a woolen fabric and it's really stretchy i love the color of it i don't really know how to describe the color it's kind of like a brownie beigey taupey it's like a mixed kind of a woolen fabric and it's nice and warm it's perfect coming into the cooler months that we're now heading on into in australia and i just think it'll be so cute teamed up with some leggings or with some jeans you could also do it with a skirt it's called the cross wrap jumper satin mile and it was 28 dollars I grabbed it in a size 10. I tried on like a 6, an 8, and a 10. And the 10 just felt a little bit more comfortable. The two smaller sizes showed just like a little bit more tummy because they were quite tight fitting. And I wanted to be able to wear this to occasions where I wasn't going to be showing that much skin. So I went the 10 and the 10 feels good. It's still fitted. It's just not too snug and I grabbed this jumper last winter from Kmart and it was in like a chocolatey kind of color and I loved it I grabbed that one in like an 8 I think and a 14 or a 16 so I could have both a nice tight fitting top and then a more loose oversized casual kind of a fit and I still wear those tops so this one I think is going to get a lot of wear as well isn't it so beautiful I really love the fit of it how it's nice and fitted but then it's a little bit looser through the arms like I feel like they're a little bit of a balloon style sleeve and I like the crossover to the front it just gives a little bit more detail that's the back it comes down to a good point at the back a little bit longer and then it kind of comes up shorter through the top here and it's just a really beautiful soft knitted fabric i think it's going to be 
perfect for the cooler months. You guys, I have been trying to get my hands on these products for the longest time and I finally got my little mitts on them. These are the Sol de Janeiro dupes. So we have the perfume, which is in a 50ml bottle, and also the hair and body oil, which is a 150ml bottle. I did smell the testers and they smell pretty good, but it will be interesting to see how they smell back to back and see just how close they are. So these are like the coconutty kind of beachy summer scent and that's my favorite one. Here are both the products side by side. I think both have really nice packaging. The Sol de Janeiro says it's pistachio and salted caramel and then the Kmart says it's the beach bliss caramel almond and vanilla eau de parfum. So both very similar in ingredients, but let's do a little snifferoo test and see how they compare. So this one is the Sol de Janeiro and this one is the Kmart version. Just give it a little shaky shake. It's very similar. I think the Sol de Janeiro is more sweeter and stronger. Yeah, very similar. However, the Sol de Janeiro is definitely more stronger in smell and sweeter. This one is more like a diluted version, I would say, but still very similar. Has that beautiful beachy, tropical, coconutty kind of a smell to it. So definitely worth checking out if you don't want to spend the money on the Sol de Janeiro. I think this is a pretty good substitute. And then I also grabbed some press on nails. I haven't tried these kinds out before, so I'm excited to see how they go. They're by the OXX Cosmetics brand. So the first ones I got here, they're the almond shape and they're just like a beige base color with the little daisies all over them. I thought they were so cute. You get 24 in a pack. And then same for this one here, 24 nails. These ones are the oval shape and they have the beige base as well. And then kind of like an ombre silver glitter effect. How cute are they though? They were only $5 each. I also grabbed the clear storage turntable because one can just not have enough Lazy Susans in their life. Well, I can't anyway. I just think they're so great. This was only $7, so such a bargain. I'm gonna put my spices on it, but you can put so many different things on it. They make things really accessible, which just makes life so much easier. I also grabbed a new blush because I broke mine into like a million pieces. This one's the OXX Cosmetics Glow Blush Powder in Coral. So it has a little bit of an iridescent-y kind of a reflect to it, which I think is always nice. It kind of gives you that youthful kind of glow. And that's it there. This was only $4 and it does come in other shades as well. So I'm excited to test it out and see how it wears because $4, if it's good, I'm going to keep using it. I also grabbed this wicker vase. Let me put it back. It's quite large. It was $19 down to $12. So great value for that. And I figured I might pop it up here on our buffet or maybe in our movie room. I'm not too sure yet. I don't know exactly what to put in this. So feel free to give me some suggestions if you know what I should put in there. Maybe some pumice grass or something or just leave it as is. I don't know, I'll have to play around and see. So I also wanted to include my Kmart tumbler in this haul. I didn't grab it today, but I did grab it recently and I love it so much. It's the perfect dupe for the Stanley, but a fraction of the price. It was $15. It holds 1.18 liters and it's called the Jumbo Tumbler with Handle. It's just so convenient. I love that it fits into my car cup holder as well. It drives me crazy when my drink bottles don't fit properly in there. I've got water in it right now, but you can kind of see it holds a lot of water. I like the plastic straw that it has. You can remove the straw and then seal the lid closed as well. I think it comes in black, white, a really cute baby blue color, purple, and the hot pink. And I just love it so much. So highly recommend it to you guys. Okay, so that is everything that I have for you in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along to Kmart with me today and just hanging out, 
seeing what's new in and I hope you got some inspo out of this haul as well. Be sure to drop me a comment and let me know if there's anything that you've grabbed recently that we should know about and let me know if you're enjoying these kinds of shop with me haul videos because I will definitely film more if you enjoy them. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye.